So we're going to spell some words today like we always do, but today we're going to learn a new thing. Um, on Monday we did a video and we did digraph with SH. And you know what? I'm going to write it real quick because I just want to review that. Tell me when you see SH, what sound does it make? Shh. What sound does SH make? Shh. Good. You remembered. Awesome. Now, today, guys, we are going to learn another digraph, which is CH. Now, hold that thought for one second. Guys, sometimes we have other things. Like, for example, right here I have CL. And CL um, are two consonants you can put together. Ready? Cl like class, right? So CL go together, but they each have their own sound. We still have K and L. We just put it together. Cl class, right? But CH is not like that. Because CH, if you tried to do each sound, it would go K. -h. Uh -huh. Is that any kind of word that you ever heard? No, because that's not how you do it. CH is a digraph. It means it has its very own special special sound. Ready? CH says ch. CH says ch. Like you're going to say cherry. What does CH say? Ch. So if I say ch, how do you spell it? CH. If I say ch, how do you spell it? CH. Cool. All right. So awesome. So what we're going to do is let's do a few words that have ch. Okay. All right. So this morning, if you look on my stove back there, that's actually cooking. I have beef stew in there. So this morning I had to chop up all the stuff. I had to chop up the onions and the celery and the garlic to get it started. So everybody say chop, 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 chop. Okay. So now let's say the sounds in chop. Ready? Ch. Okay, so now we're going to spell chop. So first spell ch. I remember I just told you ch is c h. Ch. Ah, uh, Janai, what's ah? Uh? Oh, ch. Ah. Uh, Jimmy? Hey. Good. Chop. Okay. Now, let's do, um, Chip, like, um, here we go. Here's a perfect example. This is Mr. Grayson's mug, and if I bang it on the counter, I can make a chip out of it, right? So that's what a chip is. So let's all say the sound in chip. Chip. Again, chip. Good. All right, so we're going to start with ch. Guys, spell ch. C H. Ch. Okay, now let's do the rest of chip. Ready? Ch. I who said I? Chip. What's P? Taraji? Chip. Awesome. All right. Now, let's do some words that have Ch at the end. Are you ready? All right. Um, let's do match, okay? Match, match, okay, now, hmm, what's mm, m, mm, ah, did everybody say a? Matt, now, there's one little crazy thing on this, match has a silent t, don't ask me why, because I don't know, okay, ready, match, how do you spell ch? ch. Okay. Ooh, that was noisy. Okay. Now say fetch. Like if you're outside and you throw the stick to the dog and you say fetch, right? Say the sounds in fetch. You ready? Fetch. Fetch. Awesome. Okay. So let's spell fetch. Okay. What do you think, Jayliana F, right? Fetch. Uh, uh, Liam what Val says, eh. Uh, B, of course. Fetch. Now, fetch also has a silent T, isn't that? I don't ask who I guys. I can't even tell you. All right, ready? Fetch. How do you spell ch? C H. Fetch. Awesome.
All right. Now I have one more. Uh, say the sounds in bench, and you know what a bench is. Like on a picnic table, you sit on the bench, right? Okay. Say the sounds. Oh, at lunchtime. You guys sit on the bench every day at lunchtime. Say the sounds in bench. B N C H. B N C H. Okay. So let's do bench. Ready? B. B, of course. B. Uh, what vowel is A, uh, guys? B. Hey. Ben. Who said N? Okay, ready? Ben. Ch. Spell Ch. C H. Bench. Awesome. So, okay, I want to practice one more thing. Guys, everybody spell ch. Who said sh? Good. Ch. Now, everybody spell ch. Ch. All right, ready? Sh, tell me what it says. Ch. Ch, tell me what it says. Ch. Ready? Awesome. You learned two new things. Well, you learned one new thing Monday, and now you learned another new thing. Very good job. You're so smart.